Hey guys, this is JT Tran, and I have a really special guest, David Wygant, one of the top dating coaches in the world. Um, David, thank you so much for, for doing this oh, good interview. Good to see you. Thanks for coming to my house. Yeah, we want to give a lot of value to our, our audience. But first of all, why don't you tell my audience a little bit about yourself? I've been doing this since I was born. No, I mean, yeah. literally. <laughs> I've been doing this since some of them were born, yeah. you know. I've been doing this for 18 years wow. now. Wow. Teaching men. A lot of experience. A lot of experience, you know. But really teaching men how to be the most authentic, powerful version mm -hmm. of themselves so they don't have to rely on any pickup lines or games or routines. Because if you think about it, in life we're really creating our own game and routine. Mm -hmm. So I may say I don't use a routine, but a woman may come down the street and my brain will click and go, dog routine inside my brain. Right. It's something that I've done thousands of times before. So well, it's like a pattern. Of it's behavior. a pattern. Yeah. So I have really broken down the patterns of and behaviors of women so then men can understand their patterns and behaviors. So when I go and I see something and it's funny, whenever I whenever I coach or do a boot camp mm -hmm. or even on my products, guys, I always look at a guy like and it's great and I'll give you a funny story. So I was in Chicago mm -hmm. doing a boot camp and you know, when you're walking around and they're all following you and you stop and they all bang into you, right? You know, it's always like ding, ding, ding. ding. Yeah, it's, it's like, like rush hour. All right, you know, it's like, come on guys, pay attention, I stopped, right? And I felt them disconnecting, right? And I said, I, and I looked at them, I said, we're gonna do the yummy exercise, right? Mm -hmm. What's the yummy exercise? I said, women are delicious. I think about how yummy they are, how good they <laughs> taste, how great they are to fuck, how great they are to be around, how great they are to listen to, because I love women, you know? Mm -hmm. It's something that I've always loved. It's like, I, I never, I don't wanna just, I don't wanna fuck a woman, I wanna be with a woman. I right. wanna experience a woman. So um, look at them and I go, I'm going to teach you the greatest exercise to turn on your sexuality. And it's literally the most scientific way to turn on your sexual power. I call it yummy. yummy. And what yummy is, is this. I literally looked at the guys and said, the next hot woman that I see walking down the street, I'm going to think how yummy she is, how delicious she is, <laughs> how great she smells, how amazing it's going to be to see her little panties, those little great little thongs on my floor, right? Yeah. How great it's going to be to watch her like orgasm underneath me. She's yummy. She's delicious, right? So they're all like looking at me like, I'm like you know, you can feel them going, oh my God, that's so cool. I go, watch this, okay? A blonde's coming my direction. And then one guy goes, I can't do this. I go, yes, you can. I said, you just say the word yummy. That's all you got to do is say the word mm -hmm. yummy. And I'm like walking and I go, and he goes, well, I go, just watch. Watch how easy it is, right? And she's walking towards me and I go, yummy. And I'm smiling, <laughs> right? And I fucking said it. I didn't just think it. I actually said it. Right. She looked at me. She stopped. We're on Michigan Avenue. You've been to, you know Chicago, yeah, right? Yeah. We're on Michigan Avenue. She looks at me and she goes, yummy. <laughs> and I look at her and the guys are like they like it's slow motion right and as we're walking we're going yummy to each other and her eyes are matching and then all of a mm -hmm. sudden she turns around and I turn around and I literally look at the guys excuse me for one second I walked over and she looks at me she goes hi I go hi she goes yummy huh I said yeah you are fucking yummy I said you are absolutely breathtaking you know the way mm. you walk I can feel your sensuality as you walk down the street it was almost like in slow motion she sh looks at me and it's like it was like hit by like a ton of bricks right she goes when are we gonna hang I said I'm in Chicago literally till five o'clock today and I'm working with these guys she goes here's my number she goes fucking FaceTime me she goes talk to me talk to me I want to get to know you and it's that literally that scientific way of unlocking because we're sexual primal beings mm -hmm. right and what happens is we're not ever turning on our sexuality. What we're doing is we're so afraid of it. Yummy means that you are not afraid to eat the pussy. Yummy means that you're not afraid to go and look at a woman and go, I want to fuck you. Because if you think about what's a date, right? Right. What is a date? It, it's it, it's it, a precursor to, to the romantic interaction. Exactly. It's an interview for fucking, right? Yes. So if you turn that sexuality on, you don't need to say the word yummy, you need to think about the word mm -hmm. yummy, and it triggers something in your own brain because it gets you thinking about sex yeah. and triggers something in her. And it's been proven that if a man thinks about sex and has that smile on his face, it will literally trigger a woman to think the same thing because we're just mirroring one another. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you've taken guys down this path yeah. with exercises. Well, you're doing what they describe, the like psychologists describe as that visualization. Them able to succeed and being in bed with this girl that they never thought possible. So it's like goal setting, but also you're tapping into their senses, like visually and, and smell and taste. So they're more in the present 
right, in that moment with her instead of, like, thinking, oh, my God, like, if I approach her, she's going to blow me out. Like, all this kind of fantasy scenarios of negativity, it forces them to be in that moment to, to feel, like, who they are physically and mentally and emotionally instead of just creating, like, you know, crazy negative scenarios. So I really like that. So that's one uh, great scientific way to spark her arousal and get her in bed. What are another maybe two ways that you can think of to really like turn her on and get her into bed. It's warmth. So warmth, a woman okay. needs to feel safe, right? Gotcha. So mm -hmm. yummy is primal right. and warmth is safe. So what I tell guys all the time, we all carry these things around, yeah. right? Yeah. So take your home screen and look. I'm not going to show because my daughter's my private life, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But there's what makes me That's feel warm. That's That's adorable. Okay. Yeah. So, right? That makes me feel warm. So you feel my energy change all of a sudden, right? You hear my tonality and my voice change. Like I'm not amped up. When I was describing yummy, I was very amped up mm -hmm. because I was in primal David mode. Now I'm looking and thinking about my daughter. You're anchored to a, a positive, warm emotion. Love. I'm thinking uh -huh. about love. What are all women looking for is love, right? Women want to make love. Women want to connect. Women want to be claimed, right? Women mm -hmm. want that. So if I look at a picture of something that makes me feel warm, and then I go and I talk to her and I go, hi, I'm in warm mode. She feels safe. Mm. She feels a sense of connection. She feels romantic attachment. So yummy is primal sexual. Love is about romantic attachment. Yeah. So you're triggering that romance in her. So it can be anything. It could be a picture of your niece or nephew. If you're a single dad, a picture of your daughter. It could be a picture of the football team you love. Whatever you love, <laughs> you know, whatever creates something warm. Your mom or your mm -hmm. grandmother or whatever it might be. Your dog, right? Your dog. And when you go over and say hello, you're saying hello, and it's all voice tonality. Mm -hmm. So if I'm doing yummy, it's like, hey, how are you? You know, I'm mm -hmm. like fucking going to eat your pussy. And then if you see love, you're like, hi, what's, what's going on? You know, yeah. what are you up to today? No, I really love that piece of advice because I never thought of using, like, your cell phone to sort of trigger that emotional state. Because I can imagine what it used to feel like whenever you, let's say, on a date, and you're, you start to have the butterflies. Here you just kind of, we all check our phone, right, when we're nervous. So instead of just having like your standard screensaver, you have a positive, like emotional visual anchor to kind of pull you back into that moment so that you are positive in that loving state. So whenever the girl gets back in the restroom and you're on that date, you're like, you've changed yourself from that nervous kind of anxious energy into something positive. So that is really cool. I really like that. I had never thought of that. So thank you for sharing that with me, much no, less no. my audience. It, it's because it is romance. Mm -hmm. It is romance. It's yeah. like, if you think about it, you know, the stage in life that you and I are at right now, mm -hmm. when I asked you if you're, you're dating, you're meaning that you're actually, you're dating because you want to connect, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to bring, you know how to bring primal because you learned primal, right? right? But if you bring romantic and primal and guess what you're bringing to her, you're bringing alpha guy. Alpha mm -hmm. guy is a guy that's, you know, what does every single woman want? A guy that can fuck them in the bedroom, okay, eat their pussy for three hours and be spiritually connected to source, whatever source is, whether it's God to you or the universe mm -hmm. or anything else. And that's what love is because when you go with an open, energetic, loving heart, a guy all of a sudden becomes that guy that they want to be with. And women don't know what they want until they energetically feel a guy. So it doesn't matter if you're an Asian guy or an Indian guy or mm -hmm. a black guy or a white guy or whatever it is. Women want to feel something, and it's not, women don't see what we see. We see, you know, you know we're like spec sheets, right? <laughs> but women see energy, yeah. and it's different. So those are the two that really get them, and then you probably want the third, right? Yeah, like those two right there are already good enough for me. Right? I'm pretty sure it's good enough for the audience, but do you have one more, like over-delivering to you guys? Yeah, I've got one more that I really love, and it's called, it's called claiming. Claiming, okay. Okay. It's every single guy out there wants to know how to claim her. So all of a sudden, if you go over with yummy and loving energy, you have her, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to claim her, and that's when being a man comes in. So if you've shown her these two sides, if you show okay. her, you know, if you just go in as yummy, you can still claim. If you go in as the guy with love, you can still claim. Women complain all the time that men are no longer men. Men ask out a woman and go, you know, we all should get together. My friends and I are going here. The wishy-washy. Wishy-washy friend zone, man, right. right? So I always tell men all the time, it doesn't matter how long you speak to her. As long as you find out a few things about her, okay. you can literally claim her by saying to her, you know, hey, you know, you're right. You know, I may never be on Michigan Avenue again. 
we need to get together, okay? Mm -hmm. Give me your number. You know, it's never asking for a phone number. It's a give me technique. Right. Give me your number. I want your number. I'm taking you out. The other day I saw this woman. We were working a bake sale together. It was a lot of fun, right? I liked it. We had a spark. Mm -hmm. We went and got a bottle of water together. It was the perfect moment to ask her out because women are about serendipitous perfect moments, yes. right? So I literally looked at her and I said to her, I said, I said, I want to take you out. Definitive, right? Mm -hmm. I want to take you out. She goes, I said, you look shocked. You know, she goes, no, 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 no. She goes, I said, here. I said, put your number in my phone, right? And it's always definitive. It's like literally claiming her. I want to take you out for a meal, you know? Right. Uh, let's go have dinner. I want to have dinner with you. Hey, let's go out for drinks. Or maybe she says, you know, you make fun of her about, you know, sushi. She, you know, she got in Whole Foods line and go, you know what? The sushi here sucks. I'm going to take you somewhere better. Give me your number. Have a plan because women always feel like men don't have a plan. Yes. So if you're a man with a plan, you're claiming her. If you claim her, immediately she's thinking about you as a potential fuck partner. Mm -hmm. She's teaching you as a potential boyfriend and she's looking at you so different. And all of a sudden, it doesn't matter what you are. You could be the short quiet Asian guy, right, mm -hmm. who's never done this before, and all of a sudden she looks at you as the, you know, as the stud Korean guy from Lost, right. you know, right? You know, it's like, <laughs> that's the whole thing. That's what triggers off in women, because women want to be claimed. It's that romantic thing. It's the Disney moment that they've wanted the whole time. Yeah. Prince comes over, takes Princess away, and literally claims her. So those are three things that gets yeah. any guy to be seen as her romantic equal. Right. No, I, I really like that, because there is a property of leadership, you know, the way you're describing claiming, being definitive. That's what I describe as being a leader. Like you should always lead, not follow. Is it you want to, whether it's like getting our number, it's a statement. Like this is what I, you know, want to do. And so that way you're, they have that masculine energy. She's that, that feminine energy. So again, guys, this has been some great stuff. I really appreciate it. I'm sure you guys do too. How can my audience find more about you, David? Simple. DavidWygant.com, spelled W-Y-G-A-N-T. A free gift awaits, and it's something mm. that's really interesting. I interviewed some beautiful women on ah. what they're looking for, and it's a free video that they'll get. They'll literally, all they got to do is put their email mm -hmm. in, and I'll send them a free video. They're not going to be sold anything. They get right, this free right. video, and the video is all about what women want, and you'll start to understand what women are looking for. So you can take this information I give, the information you give, and it's validated by beautiful women, and they give a couple other cool little tricks of the trade. Yeah, too. yeah, definitely check out in the description box. I'll be putting all the links to David's material, all right? So, thank you so much, David. This My has pleasure. been great, man. My pleasure. Hey there, thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back for that every Monday. Oh, and if that's not enough for you, remember that for the last 10 years, the ABCs of Attraction have been the finishing school for Asian gentlemen. So we've been teaching guys how to be better boyfriends, more confident, and better husbands. If you need that extra push, you can enroll in one of our classes. But until then, we'll see you every Monday. Bye.